Okay, so I'd like to take you through um, lesson four homework because it doesn't match on the website. So um, I have my two place value charts. One has the metric system and one has the regular place value. And so I'm going to take my 108 centimeters and put it on my metric chart. 108 centimeters ending in the centimeters right here. And then I want to turn that to meters. So meters is this column right here. And so there's a one decimal zero eight one and eight hundredths of a meter and so when I want to figure out what I multiply or divide my number was a hundred eight I'm gonna use the place value chart below it and now it is one and eight hundredths so I actually moved it twice to the left which means I divided it by twice by ten twice or divided by a hundred so I have one hundred eight divided by the second power of 10 and that equals 1 and 8 hundredths. So if I look at the next one, let's look at 2 and 49 hundredths of a meter. And so here's two whole meters and 49 hundredths and they want to know centimeters. So it was 2 and 49 and that's going to change to 249 centimeters. And so my number went from 2 and 49 hundredths up to 249. So it got bigger, it multiplied two places. So that multiplied 2 and 49 hundredths by the second power of 10, which equals 249. So we drop the, um, the metric symbol of centimeters or meters once we are just showing the math that's involved. So 50 centimeters to meters, if I end in centimeters, 50 centimeters, that ends up being half, there's my decimal, half a meter, or five tenths of a meter. And so I divided, um, I divided here, so I went from 50 to 0 0.5 it went two place values and so it was 50 divided by 10 to the second power equals 0 0.5 um, for 6.3 meters just keep changing the color 6.3 meters 6 and 3 tenths if I fill it in 6 and 3 tenths I just add a zero to get to the centimeters column and I'm taking the whole thing 630 centimeters. So we're kind of getting a pattern here. So 6.3 and I multiplied by a power of 10 it's going to equal 630. Well it just so happened that it, it the decimal moved two places over. I moved it two times so that's the second power of 10. Um, for 7 centimeters, centimeters um, we're going to put a 7 here. Actually, I should probably change the color. Let's change it back to red. 7 centimeters. Now, I'm going to put my 7 in the centimeters column. I'm going to put zeros until I get to meters. Equals 0 and 7 hundredths of a meter. So what happens is we're going to be dividing. 7 divided by. And it went over. It was here. The decimal was here. And it went over 2. And so I divided by 10 to the second power to get 0 0.07 or 7 hundredths. Okay. Uh, a list of letters of problems where smaller units are converted to larger units. Um, so smaller units, the centimeters to meters, centimeters to meters, and centimeters to meters, B, D, and F. B, D, and F. So let's go to the next one. So on the second half of the first page, we're going to be doing meters to millimeters or millimeters to meters. So four meters, I'm going to put a four in my meter section. Four here as well. And then I'm going to add zeros until I get to millimeters, which means four meters is 4,000 millimeters. To figure out the math for that, I started in the ones. I started with a four and I went to 4,000. So I actually went three place values. So four 
multiplied by 10 to the third power equals 4,000. So let's keep going and let's do 1.7 meters. So I'm going to put 1.7 in there, 1 decimal 7, uh, 1 and 7 tenths. And I'm going to change that to millimeters. So I'm going to add the zeros. And here's what's a little confusing. That decimal no longer exists in there. It's 1,700 millimeters. So we're going to do the same thing where we multiply that by the power of third power of 10 again. 1,700. So the next one we're going to be doing is millimeters to meters. And they give us 1,050 millimeters. So I'm going to put that in there. 1,000. I'm going to end my 50 in the millimeters section. So when I do that, that ends up being 1 and 5 hundredths of a meter. And so 1 and 500, uh, one, excuse me, 1,050. Start there. If I put that down here, 1,050, and I ended up at 1 and 5 hundredths, the 1 actually moves over three times to the right, three place values. So that was division divided by 10 to the third power, and that equals 1 and 5 hundredths. I can put that zero there. The next one has us going 65 millimeters. Let me put my 65 millimeters in there. And then I'm going to add zeros until I get to uh, meters. So that equals 0 and 65 thousandths of a meter. That's the same going from millimeters to meters. So I start at 65. I'm dividing by the third power. And I get 0 and 65 thousandths. The next one has us going from meters. 4 and 92 hundredths. Put that in there. 4 and 92 hundredths. I'm going to add my 0. So it equals 4,920 millimeters. So that's just like these for top two. So it's 4 and 92 hundredths, or 4 and 92 hundredths. And I'm multiplied by the third power. And I'm going to get 4,920. And the last one, we have three meters, oh, excuse me, three millimeters. And I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to add my zeros. And I get all the way down to three thousandths of a meter. That's pretty small. So three. And we went from millimeters to meters. So we're dividing 10 to the third power equals zero and three thousandths. Then they want on G, they're asking us for uh, which were larger units are converted to smaller units. So larger units going to smaller units. Are, it looks like larger units, going to smaller units, are A, B, that was an A, B, and E. Okay, let's go to the next problems. So on the next page, on the back page, it kind of varies a little bit. So they start with 2 and, two and 638 thousandths of a meter. 2, it's supposed to be 2. 638 thousandths. So what happens is they want the millimeters. So the millimeters take up the whole thing. And they actually gave us the answer on this one. So 2,638 millimeters. And then on number on letter B, we start with seven centimeters. So let's put seven centimeters in there. And they want to know how many meters. So I'm going to add my zeros. So that becomes zero and seven hundredths of a meter. Now that's a division problem. It moved from here to here is where the decimal moved. So that's two place values. So it was seven divided by ten to the second power equals zero and seven hundredths. Thirty-nine millimeters. Let me put that in there. Thirty-nine in by millimeters. Thirty-nine millimeters is actually zero and thirty-nine thousandths of a meter. So I start with thirty-nine millimeters. I'm going to take this one over here. I start with a number of thirty-nine and I'm going to a number of thirty-nine thousandths. So that three moved over one, two, three place values. So divided by ten to the third power equals zero and thirty-nine hundredths. Eight 
eight meters, or excuse me, eight hundredths of a meter becomes, they want to know millimeters, so I'm going to add a zero till I get there, and it's 80 millimeters. 80 millimeters. So I went from a very small number, I'm going to multiply it, and my decimal was here, and so I'm actually going to move it one, two, three times, so it's times 10 to the third power equals 80. And our very last one on this, this set is, let me change the colors real quick, is five thousandths of a meter and that they want to know how many centimeters that is now centimeters are right here centimeters are in this column so the decimal for centimeters is right here so that actually becomes half a centimeter okay and so that's actually got a little bit bigger it was here and it moved over one place value so zero and five thousandths times 10 to the first power equals zero. Um, excuse me, did I have that wrong? Zero. Oh, sorry. It was a really small number and it moved over, moved this way. So it moved over twice. I apologize. Um, so it was five thousandths and it went to five meters. So it was here. I apologize. One, two, there, that way. So it's times two and it becomes half a centimeter. We have one more section. There's three problems here. So for Yiting's height, it is one and uh, one and forty nine hundredths of a meter, and they want to know what this is in millimeters. So we're gonna go one and forty nine hundredths, and then we're going to add our zero to get to millimeters. So it, the, our answer is 1,490 millimeters. And they want us to include an exponent equation of exponents. And so we went from 1, I'll write right in here. I went from 1 and 49 hundredths. And it got to be a way bigger number, a lot bigger number. So it's times 10 to the, it was here. And it was one, two, three place values to the third place value, and that equals 1,490. Next problem is uh, the ladybug measures two centimeters. They want to know how much that is in meters. So two centimeters, and I add my zeros, so that becomes zero and two hundredths of a meter. So that got smaller, it was here, the decimal was here, and it went twice here. And so two divided by 10 to the second power equals two hundredths. And the very last one is um, the sticky note, 77 millimeters. They wanna know what that is in meters. So 77 millimeters, I add my zeros, and it becomes I'll write right here zero and seven seventy seven thousandths of a meter. If I want to write the equation, it was at seventy seven millimeters, and it went one, two, three. Um, I divided by three, so it was uh, the third power of ten. Excuse me. So seventy seven divided by the third power of ten equals zero. 77 hundred uh, thousands. All right, there you go. Hope that helped.